All right. We're going to do a little Martin Luther King Jr. drawing. Um, uh, I hope you have a pencil. Ms. Waldron's going to use a marker uh, so that you can see everything I do, but try and do yours in pencil. Uh, in case you make a mistake, Ms. Waldron has done this about 13 times because I kept messing up. So uh, use your pencil, make a mistake, go ahead and erase it. All right. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off by drawing a circle for Martin Luther King Jr.'s head. Go ahead and draw a circle there on your page. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to give him some hair by drawing little curves, little bumps. Nice short hair like that. We're going to give Martin Luther King Jr. some eyes so you can draw some circles in the middle here. And then two more circles, and you can go ahead and color those in if you'd like. I'm going to give him some eyebrows. And a nose. For the nose, we're just going to draw a curved line. Kind of upside down like that. Now, Martin Luther King Jr. had a little mustache, and we're going to draw his little mustache under his nose by drawing um, like a little cloud shape long cloud shape. I'm going to use my marker to go ahead and color that in black. And then we're going to give him a nice big smile. Dr. King was a good listener, so we need to make sure we give him little ears. Excellent. Right. Now, Martin Luther King Jr. was Usually seen wearing a suit, so we're going to give him a nice a nice suit here. The first thing we're going to do is from the bottom of his head, we're going to draw a line out and a line down. And the same thing on the other side. A line out and a line down. Now we're going to give uh, Martin Luther King Jr. a tie. So the way we're going to do that is from the middle of the bottom of his head, we're going to draw a little square shape. And then we're going to draw kind of like a carrot shape. Two curved lines that meet here at the bottom. Maybe a, ca a carrot or a little Christmas light bulb. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the rest of his suit and shirt. So pay attention here and listen real carefully. From the bottom of your square corner, you're going to draw a diagonal line out and a diagonal line out on both sides. Here's where things get a little bit difficult. From the diagonal line to the bottom of your light or, or of the tie, you're going to draw a kind of a curved line like this. Curved line like this. Now we'll give him some arms by just drawing two straight lines like this. Dr. King was a great speaker, so we're going to put him in front of a podium, which is a place that people do a lot of speaking. So you're going to just draw from the bottom of your picture here a rectangle, just like this. And then you can draw two lines down like this. And there's Martin. We're going to do a little bit of coloring together. We can also write a little message here at the top. We can write, I have a dream. So we're going to start all the way over on our left hand side. We're going to use an uppercase I. That's a sight word so we can write it real quick. We're going to put a space. I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to write the word have. And I'm going to use all lowercase letters because I am in the middle of a sentence. I have, H A V E, have. I have, I'm going to do another space, A, lowercase again. And a space, and I'm going to write the word dream. And I'm going to put a period. I have a dream. 
Maybe you didn't write that as fast as Miss Waldron, and that's okay. You're learning. Go ahead and copy it as best you can. You can always pause the video if you need to. All right, I'm going to get out my crayons. We're going to need a brown crayon and a blue crayon and a black crayon. All right, we're going to color Martin Luther King Jr.'s skin brown. You can color his hair black. Now I'm going to move my crayon in little circles to give Martin Luther King Jr.'s hair a little detail. Oh, you know what I forgot? I'm also going to need a gray crayon. Don't forget a gray crayon. We might as well use that right now. So our gray crayon, we're going to color in Martin Luther King Jr.'s suit gray. We're going to color his tie blue. Okay. And you can color the podium brown as well. You can really color it any color you like. I'm going to color mine brown. 